Hey, what's up everyone? Corey here from The Rundown and today I have an interesting topic and it is can your smartphone replace your computer? All right, so I have here my laptop plugged into a monitor uh, and hooked up to a Bluetooth keyboard, okay? And I got a mouse here as well. So it's basically a laptop powering a screen and a keyboard. Uh, why do I do that? Because I like a little bit bigger of a screen and I like to be sitting upright looking straight across at the monitor for ergonomics, what have you. Anyway, so the video today is, you know, can the phone replace your desktop or a laptop? Can it become the only computing device for your personal needs in your household? And it's an interesting topic and in my opinion, the answer is no. Um, you, you know, you just can't be as productive without things like a monitor and a keyboard and a mouse. There's just no way a smartphone can compare. Um, but then I stumbled across this app called Samsung Dex and Samsung claims that they've developed an app that can turn your smartphone into a desktop like experience. How do they do that? Well. Similar to what I have going on here, my laptop plugged into a monitor, all I have to do is remove my laptop and plug the monitor right into my phone. And then apparently I can use my Bluetooth keyboard and mouse and the application scales up the phone software to make it look like a desktop. So that's pretty exciting stuff. Um, I'm just gonna show you what that would look like. Simply just unplug your HDMI from your monitor, take off your laptop here, Okay, and then you just need a, an adapter for your phone, something that'll put the uh, HDMI cable from your monitor right into your phone. So I got this adapter off Amazon, it was $35. I'll link that in the description below. And then you plug in your HDMI like so. <clears throat> and then there's a little message here, says HDMI connect, and there you go. My phone is now loading up Samsung DeX, and that is the scaled up version of my phone. Now, of course, I need to be able to navigate around, so I take out my USB mouse dongle, and I plug it into the multi-port adapter that houses my HDMI. And there we go, now I have a mouse here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Click anywhere and there is my phone's OS. Okay, and I've even paired, I've done this previously, I've paired my keyboard with my phone via Bluetooth. And there you go, I'm operating just like I would on a computer with a big screen and a keyboard right, right off of my smartphone. So what are the advantages to this? <clears throat> well, I can definitely see a few advantages. Not having to purchase a laptop every however many years not having to update a laptop or a desktop, like software or whatever. Um, just one less device in the household, right? So you're always gonna have a smartphone, I guess, in today's day and age. So if that can take care of all your computing needs, it does have, it does work with a big screen and it does work with the keyboard and the mouse. So interesting concept, I think, right? Now, I have been using this setup only for about three weeks now. That's right, I've only been using my smartphone to take care of all of my personal computing needs. That includes photo editing, video editing. I'm even gonna edit this video on Samsung DeX here. I tested out some typing, all the Excel documents, all the Google documents, emails. That's all the stuff I do. Um, and I'm excited to share with you guys in this video how it works and if it's a viable solution to being able to completely get rid of a laptop or a desktop in your household. So stay tuned and check it out. During my three weeks with Samsung DeX, I really wanted to make sure that I touched on a few key areas. First being hardware and software. What do I need to get started with Samsung DeX? Well, if you have a Samsung device, anything uh, S8 or higher, then you're good to go. All you really need is a monitor and a HDMI adapter and a cable. So if you can plug your monitor with the HDMI cable into the adapter and then into your phone, you're off to the races. 
Now, to get a true desktop-like experience, you're gonna want a keyboard and a mouse. If you don't have a mouse, then you can use the phone as a trackpad, which is a nice touch, but I prefer the mouse. And for the keyboard, I have a Bluetooth keyboard. I just sync it up with my phone's Bluetooth and I'm ready to go. Now the mouse, I use a dongle mouse and I just plug that into the adapter, which I got off Amazon. And I'm using my keyboard and a mouse just like I would on my desktop, except on my phone. Is it seamless experience? Well, I can say that as soon as you plug in your phone, it loads up right away. There's no connection issue. There's no time or delay or anything like that. You can just plug in, start using your phone with your mouse and your keyboard, and then you can unplug and walk away. You don't have to save any of your documents to the drive or the cloud or anything. Everything's just stored on your phone as it would be. Navigation. How easy is it to navigate around and is it easy to plug in the peripherals? Well, navigating around in, the, in your phone's OS is quite simple. It's very similar to that of a Chromebook laptop. If you've never used one of those, then they're like a, a cheaper laptop version without any Windows operating or Mac operating. It's just, it's an app-based laptop. This is kind of what this is like, the Samsung DeX, because all it is is your phone's applications on a big screen. Now the most important area is the applications. How good do they look scaled up and are they sufficient enough for everyday use? As you can see, Samsung has a list of DeX optimized applications and these are applications that, well, they've optimized to use with Samsung DeX. So if your typical workflow doesn't fall outside of these applications, then you should be good to go. Now, I've used most of these applications during my testing and I can confirm that anything on this list does work rather well. I did a lot of work with Microsoft Word, Excel, Google Docs, Google Sheets. Um, I also did some emails with Microsoft Outlook and Gmail. I also did some photo editing with Adobe Lightroom. Where I started to run into some issues, well, a lot of issues is when it, I started editing this video in Adobe Premiere Rush. Now this isn't one of the applications that's listed in the DEX optimized applications list, but it is an application that I use most of the time on my personal computer to edit these videos. And during the use, it did load up fine. It did look fairly nice but it crashed several times and it made for a very unpleasant experience. I had to restart the project over and over again uh, and it was quite the time killer. But for the lighter tasks like the typing in the documents and the browsing the internet and Samsung internet and Google Chrome, I didn't have any problems really. In conclusion, DeX seems to work on any monitor as long as you have a Samsung 8 and up. It is seamless functionality, it truly is a plug and play and there were no connectivity issues. Navigation through the phone is quite simple and it gives you kind of like a Chromebook experience. Plugging in your mouse and keyboard were very simple. You just plug it right into your multi-port adapter and pair your Bluetooth keyboard with your phone and you're off. I do appreciate the concept, but it still needs some work. Applications is where I ran into the biggest issue some of the light stuff like typing in Word or Docs was fine and doing photo editing in the Lightroom app was also fine. But when you got into the more complex stuff like video editing, that's where I had the biggest issues. So I had to actually finish editing, editing this video on the laptop. With that being said, my answer is still the same. I'm not willing to ditch my laptop and rely solely on a smartphone for all my personal computing needs. That's it for the rundown on Samsung DeX. If you found this video useful or educational, please give it a like and share it with anyone who might be interested. All right, take care.